that she can mix with everybody and everybody. Let's share with applause that she appears on the stage with a cool look. and determination who aimed to be in the finals and win the title of Miss of Night 2019. I am Vedika Chetri, one of the finalists of Night Contest 2019. I'm a good dancer, good singer, good orator, and a good sports person. I love to do the things which is difficult to do. I was born on 20th August 2004 in Darjeeling, to Mrs. Sharmila Chetri and Mr. Bishal Chetri. I have many hobbies, but among them, playing guitar, playing karate, and hanging around with my friends is the best. I love spending my time with my best friends, Angela, Anjali, Arpan, Elvis, Dristan, and Furnima. And Furnima is one of the finalists of Siphonite Contest 2019. I have not yet said my ambition as I'm happy to go with the flow. But I have a great desire to be a UFC fighter. I strive to be good at everything which comes to me from my mentor, Sabidanjan Kazi Badan. I love the way he lives his life and I want to be like him. The great concern for all our parents and the government is quality education. Without a tree and easy access to good education, the terms used in the preamble of our constitution, such as justice, liberty, equality, bear no meaning. I love the vision of the father of our nation. He has said, by education, I mean an all-round drawing of best in every child and man, in body, mind, and spirit. Human being at its core is spirit. The, ed the quality education should reach this depth of the being, as it is the true center of peace and happiness. Education doesn't mean carry loads of books and get the bookish knowledge and spit them on the examination. 
Examination means a lot. Mahatma Gandhi always wanted the education, the institutions to reach the depth as he wanted. There are few educational institutions who dare to reach the level as Gandhi wanted. It is my opinion that Sai Baba Institute do so and I proudly say that St. Stephen's Academy does it too. I'm very grateful to my parents for choosing me this school and I'll always be glad about it. I also want to tell the parents here that they have chosen the genuine school for their children and they'll always be glad about it. Thank you. I am Sneha Das. I am a 15-year-old compassionate girl and I was born to Mr. Sanjay Das and Mrs. Puspa Das. My parents and my grandparents play a very important role in my life and therefore I have chosen them as my mentor. I am a girl who decides, commits and succeeds. I know there will be obstacles, there will be mistakes, um, there will be doubters but I will work hard until I reach my goal. I don't get pushed around by the fears in my mind, but I follow my heart, listen to my inner voice, and stop caring about what others think. I do what is right, not what is easy, not what is popular. I love more smiling, less worrying, more compassion, less judgment, more to bless than to stress, more love and less hate. In fact, I live the life of my dreams according to my vision and purpose instead of the opinions and expectations of others. Yes, it is true that sometimes I fall, I break and I fail, but then I rise, I heal and I overcome. Whenever something bad happens to me, I have two choices. I can choose to become a victim or to learn. Similarly, in the beginning of Stephenite contest, I had two choices. Either to believe in myself, work hard and reach the finals, or just simply give up. I chose to believe in myself, work hard, and therefore today I stand here. I strongly support feminism. In my opinion, I believe that the greatest role in this world is played by a woman. A woman is God's gift. Being a woman is made a terribly difficult task since it consists principally of dealing with men, family, society, which are predominantly patriarchal. To be honest, a woman regulates our lives. A woman is the one who gives her child direction, advice, inspiration, and security. I am really inspired by some of the hardworking women in my life and I desire to become like them. They are my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, my friends and all my lady teachers. Never to forget, I am also inspired by one of the students of our school and she is none other than Kisan Gising. She is one of the most hardworking, polite and humble persons I've ever met in my life. I'm sure that when I grow up, I too will become like them. Lastly, yes, I am a feminist because I see all women as smart, gifted and tough. Thank you. It's my pleasure and honor to introduce myself. Well, I'm Funima Sherpa, born and raised in a small town in North Sikkim called Chungtang. I'm the only daughter and the third child of Mr. Pemba Sherpa and Mrs. Sumi Sherpa. I was born into this wonderful world on 9th April 2003. I belong to a Buddhist family. I'm a great devotee of His Holiness Dalai Lama. I strongly believe in his words. I think if we follow his logic of three R's, that is respect for self, respect for others, and responsibility for all our actions, 
we will lead a life towards excellence. I am an ambitious girl. I always aim high. I'm not perfect in everything, but I try to do my best as I love excelling. My short-term goal is to be crowned as Miss Stephanite 2019. I have a great passion for it. And my long-term goal is to become a medical officer and to run a charitable trust. My career vision is to one day be able to help the children of Africa. I love to listen to music and inspiring stories of great people. I have heard of many great people, but I feel the story of Malala Yousafzai very special. I have chosen her as my mentor. I am greatly inspired by her actions. She was the voice of the voiceless for many women and girls in the society. Her speeches give strength to all women and children. Child abuse is an alarming problem worldwide. In recent years, some extreme forms of violence are rapidly spreading across the globe against the children. Physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual exploitation, mutilation, and trafficking, and the worst forms of child labor have provoked an international outcry. It is important to talk about this topic. There is no greater inhumanity in the world than hurting a child. A victim of child abuse will never live the same way as before. This is why someone who has abused a child should never be allowed to live the same way as before. I too want to be like Malala Yousafzai. I want to raise my voice for those innocent children. As it is well said, no amount of darkness can hide the spark of light. Similarly, I will never let any difficulty to hide my abilities and vision of my life. Thank you. You must have heard people talking about a simple girl who is a versatile leader, who seeks for perfection. That would be me, Pratyasha Chetri, studying in class 10. I am like a posted stamp. I stick to a thing until I get there. I persevere and work hard to achieve what I want. Due to this attitude of mine, I am able to make my way to the finals and stand here before you all. I possess loads of good qualities, but I have weaknesses too. Everybody says I am like a slot. I do things slowly, but very much, but in very perfect way. I am a fun-loving girl and love to hang out with my friends. I was born on 15th July 2004 to my mom and dad who are the most important persons of my life. My inspiration is my grandmom, as she possesses all the good qualities of a strong woman. Although born in a patriarchal society, my family has never been influenced by the traditions of the patriarchal system, where girls are not treated equally. I ask, why should a huge difference be created between a male and a female? After all, we all are equal before the law and God. I put forward a problem prevailing in our society. I am not safe. Yes, I am not safe. My mom is not safe. Why can't we travel alone at night? Why can't we walk in the streets alone? Is it because women are feeble or inferior or exist only to serve men? The women who are abused are tagged as victims. Everybody slams women who are dressed in shorts. But I tell, a girl wearing a burqa gets raped. A girl wearing a sari gets raped. A nun wearing habit gets raped. Why is it happening in our society? 
Is it because of the mentality of the men? Or is it because of the corrupt leaders who ignore women's problems? I believe that an adolescent boy in a school who learns about health and sexuality must be taught that violence and discrimination against girls are unacceptable. The change must be brought right now. So let's be the voice of the voiceless and then let's see who can stop us from changing our India and earning the respect that a woman deserves. Thank you. Let's cheer with applause for our obviously chair pop. Hello everyone, it's me, Abhyakrit Sherpa, one of the most dashing boys of SAC. Well, actually I'm just a simple boy pursuing my studies in class 9. I come from a small place but beautiful Mangpu. Today is a special day for me, it's my birthday. I have many hobbies and interests, I love to sing, listen to songs and play guitar. When I'm in a pensive mood and I hear or sing a song, I forget everything and I get lost in myself. I also enjoy all sports. However, my life is only complete with basketball. Bowing before entering the court, bouncing the ball, aiming to score a basket, 
and stopping my opponents from scoring. All these things give me happiness, experience, challenges and much more. This game adds meaning and flavor to my life. Though I have not completely decided, presently my ambition is to be one of the players playing in the NBA. My parents are my inspiration. My mom is a brave woman and I don't know from where she gets the courage to handle all the obstacles in life and me. My dad is a very positive person with great determination. He always encourages me to strive harder in my life. Love you both. Thank you, mom and dad. Climate change is my concern now, and I believe it must be everyone's. Scientists know that human activities over the past 50 years have ruined our planet. Our Earth is becoming warmer as a result of pollution, reckless overuse of resources, deforestation, overmining, and fracking. Our Earth has become very polluted. We need to wake up before it's too late. Facts. Indonesia will move its capital city as its current one is sinking. Venice and Bangladesh are drowning. India is also one of the most vulnerable countries and is already experiencing adverse impacts of climate change. The polar bear population is dropping very fast. You may be thinking, oh, we don't have polar bears, but global warming will affect us all. We can recycle, save electricity, save water, drive less, fly less, ride less. All around the world, young people are urging governments to act on climate change. I support them. Will you all stand to protect our planet? Thank you. Hi, I'm Kaviti Thapa, the only child to my parents. I was born on 10th of February to my first guitar teacher, Mr. Prakash Thapa, and my lucky charm, Mrs. Lucky Thapa. I hail from Tagda, a small yet magnificent place in the hills. My parents are my infinite source of love, strength, happiness, and guidance. They will always be my heroes. My parents always wanted me to succeed. Now, I have reached the grand finale of Stephanite Contest, and I'm sure that they are feeling proud to see me standing here. I am a boy who is genuinely interested in learning basketball and guitar. Entering the court, matching up the teams, taking layups and shots have always given me a great pleasure. I joined this astounding school in the year 2015, and it is hard to believe that I will be saying goodbye just after a few months. I will always be grateful to this school for giving me ample opportunities to take part in numerous events. I aspire to become an automobile engineer, but that is for the future. Right now, my aim is to score a high percentage in my ICAC exam, which I will be writing next year. I take Stephen Curry as my role model. He is a professional NBA player and the best three-pointer. And I always wanted to be like him. I am much concerned about world peace. It is for peace we pray to God every morning and evening. Unfortunately, the world peace is getting badly disturbed. No part of the world is safe from the modern destructive weapons of warfare. Do you know that how many people lost their lives in the world wars? About 59 million people were perished in the world wars. Now the question arises, how can I, as an individual, contribute to the world peace? The best thing anybody that can do to contribute world peace is to be at peace with yourself. 
We students can practice calmness and patience with our teachers, with our family and fellow students. I am very much with Stephen Curry as he says, be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to leave anybody else's story. So, be yourself, accept yourself, love yourself, and contribute to the cause, world peace. Thank you. A person with million dreams, a person with a cheerful mind, and a person with a great desire to win the Stephanite contest. That's how I describe myself. So Sang Bajal, a class 10 student boy. I, I was born to Mr. Roshan Khawas Bajal and to Mrs. Radha Bajal in a small village called Rangli Rangli Oat Tea Garden in Darjeeling. I believe my family is a bow and I an arrow. More the bow bends, further the arrow goes. It is because of my family's hard work and struggle that my sister stood here as a finalist in 2015 and I'm here today. Reading books, playing sports are my hobbies. When I grow old, I want to become a psychologist. I have a keen interest to know about the functioning of the human mind. I consider my father my inspiration and my mentor as he is calm, sincere and a service-minded person. He stands by me as a solid rocks, rock and encourages me not to give up and overcome every hardship. A tin-littered word has become famous in India. It is corruption. Taking bribe and giving bribe has become a trend. It has killed the very soul of our country. While a section of society has prospered it, but the weaker section is div drive, uh, driven from the poverty to hopelessness. The greatest tragedy is that we all have surrendered to it and have accepted it as a fact of life. The first reason is that we don't have a moral courage to fight against corruption. We don't have courage to fight a corrupt government or challenge a corrupt officer. Second reason is that we do want profit by it. We want to get our right easily by giving a bribe and acquire something that's not in our right. The third reason is we don't accept it is our fault and our responsibility. We want others to fight corruption. When some are brave enough to do so, we don't support them due to our selfish reasons. Now is the time to face the fact and answer the question. Do I truly want to get rid of corruption from my heart, from my society, and from my country? Am I ready to suffer and fight rather than giving a bribe? I, as a student, do I absolutely refuse to get an extra marks by cheating when I can easily do so? If to these questions are a strong yes, then our country has hope. Thank you. My name is Nitesh Thapa. I'm 16 years old and studying in Glaston. I feel fortunate that I was born into a wonderful family in a beautiful place called Kalampong. I love spending my time with kids, but I hate people touching or using my belongings without my permission. I've heard the man without an ambition is like a bird without its wings. My ambition is to become a Navy officer, and if I was a bird, service and leadership would be my wings. Keeping this in mind, I work as hard as I possibly can. Three years ago, I joined this tremendous school. And in just four months, I will have to say goodbye. I have received bountiful education and opportunities here. SSC is not just an institution, 
but it is the temple where we learn to respect and love one another. For me, this school is very special. Some of you may be thinking that this school is a prison, but trust me, friends, you are not going to get this type of school anywhere else. Here, the teachers are more determined than we students. And I cannot express in words how passionate our Father Felix is about the students. SSC has given me lots of opportunities to improve myself and bring out my hidden talents. I hear people say that the school is isolated, but that's a great advantage. It feels like it is a different world where we get to enjoy the peace of mind, beautiful moments, and relaxing thoughts in a calm environment. I have learned the most important thing of my life from SSA, that is, the road to success is not straight. There is the curve called failure, a loop called confusion, speed breakers called friends, red lights called enemies, caution light called families. But if you have a spare part called determination, and an engine called perseverance, and an insurance called faith, and a driver called God, you will make it to the place called success. Thank you. Thank you.